skip today we are going to know about chromosomal inversion an inversion occurs when a chromosome segment break at two point flips 180 degree and reattaches in inverse order this reverse changes the gene sequence but does not involve the gain or loss of genetic material and just its position is altered so there are two type of inversion pericentric which includes the centromere and paracentric inversion which exclude the centromere so in pericentric inversion the broken segment include the centromere example the segment d to g with the centromere between e and f is inverted in g and f centromere e which results in the change in the relative length of the chromosome arm p and q arm easily detectable by karyotyping because chromosome structure changes then paracentric inversion which exclude the centromere the inverted segment does not include the centromere example the segment c to e is flipped to e d c and centromere remain untouched so which results in the chromosome arm length remain the same harder to detect under the microscope if an acrocentric chromosome acquire an inversion in which both of the breaks are in a chromosomal long arm that is a paracentric inversion and the morphology of the chromosome will not be changed an individual in which one chromosome is inverted but its homologous is not in is said to be an inversion heterozygote during the meiosis the inverted and non inverted chromosome pair point for point along the length however because of its inversion the chromosome must form a loop to allow for pairing in the region where their genes are in reverse order here in the figure this pairing confirm configuration only one of the chromosome is looped and the other conforms around it in practice either the inverted or non inverted chromosome can form the loop to maximize pairing between them however near the end of the inversion the chromosome are stretched and there is a tendency of some desynapses so if one chromosome is inverted and the homologous one is not it is called as inversion heterozygote during the pairing in meiosis to align the proper loop formation in an inverted region the as we know in this figure the inverted chromosome form a loop and the non inverted chromosome align around it and this can lead to the crossing over problem resulting in missing or duplicated gene region in the gamete